Today, we are shooting in self-propelled gun. Shit. And nothing happens. Full start. I came here to fucking destroy the MPs. The angle is 40, 82. Stop it. Hi, Ruskies. <laughs> Today, we are shooting in self-propelled gun. By we, I mean they will shoot in self-propelled gun. And maybe I will too. You don't have a helmet. Fine, shall be 20 rivnas. No, 10,000. Yeah, 10,000 rivnas. This was an incoming hit from a tank. Zelensky is watching this too. We'll give you a fine for not wearing a helmet. I'm not kidding you. Say thank you that we are wearing our best. Anyway, I'm not here to officially inspect you, you know. <laughs> so, why aren't you wearing your helmet? Today we will take a look at self-propelled gun, an anti-tank gun, but we fire it only at the infantry, otherwise it is not a safe thing to do. This is what it looks like fully deployed. Here is the sight. This is where a projectile goes. Then you close it, arm it using this handle. And here is the trigger. This is a sight. It is used both for direct and indirect fire. If you look here, you can fire cumulative projectiles at tanks, BMPs, trucks, and other vehicles. For firing at infantry, we have this viewfinder. This is, so to speak, an artillery sight we use when delivering indirect fire from closed positions. And then you pull the trigger here and destroy the enemy. Those are not incoming hits. Those are our guys working. Yeah, our guys. Here, this is the one without a gunpowder inside, right? Yes, it is a fragmentation projectile for our self-propelled gun 9. If you attach a gunpowder charge to it, it will look like a spear indeed. This is why the gun itself is called the spear. An ancient Soviet name for it. This projectile weighs approximately 4.4 kilograms. It can travel up to 4.5 kilometers. The fragments scatter 30 meters around at an angle of 30 degrees. It is a high precision weapon. If it hits a BMPE or any other vehicle, it will destroy the shit out of it. This is the gift for you. Thanks. I came here to fucking destroy BMPs. That's it. Definitely looks like a spear. Yes. Okay then. We'd better not be playing around with it. So what, let's get over there. We were eating those fucking hamsters too. We got them all. They were eating hamsters. Imagine that. We really had. Well, we used to catch them with a mousetrap. Ate them after. I'm messing with you, come on. We did catch mice for real, and you ate them hot. Of course not. Eating them fucking raw like this. You would not even have a diarrhea afterwards. You might get something else, though. All kinds of typhus, you know. Cholera. Yeah, cholera, too. Plague shows up once again. This is pretty much how coronavirus was born. Yeah. They were eating mice, but not the field ones. For Dnipro. Four night team Mio have to hold the canister with gunpowder with your hand when loading it in. On my command, you must shout loudly, shot it. And after two seconds, pull the trigger. Shot. And nothing happens, false start. So I switched the safe off and pulled the trigger, but the trigger itself is too stiff. Sanya, give us your thoughts. Everything's great. Hold on. Now we will have a proper shot. Saha. You have to know which button to press, Sanya. 
Hi, Ruskies. Get another one. Load another one. I want to take my shot. You can do it, Sanyak. We believe in you. Shut up. Shut up. Ah, that's the point. Fuck. I was pushing the wrong button. That's enough of... Let's go. Look how the earth got scorched here. Yes. And we only took two shots. Let's get the fuck out of here before they hit us back. Right? Something may fly in here, so let's get to that trench. I'm telling you, Alexander Vasilyevich Maslyakov from K Russian comedy show is 100p ursent faggot. He is really... I know that for sure. There's a dude from named Stas Yarshin, and he fucked him in the ass. Really? Yeah. That's true. That's it. Get this on the internet. No, you must be kidding. I'm serious. Did he really fuck Yarshin? Yeah, yeah. Yarshin is a faggot, too. All Russians are faggots. Especially those two. Are they gay for real? Yes, they are. And fuckers, too. They are fuckers because they're Russians, right? Yeah. Today we work with a self-propelled gun together with the lads from Dnipro. Judging by the smoke on the horizon, which you saw, the Russians have become a little fewer in numbers. Believe in that. Subscribe to our channel, give these videos likes and so on. See you soon. Thank for support to our sponsors.